First, it was Ayu from Taiwan. Then, Panada from Thailand. And also, Aimer and Feiyue from China. Fashion in Singapore is no longer dominated by European or Japanese brands as more labels from other Asian countries start to set up shop on our little island. The latest is this concept store from Indonesia called The Little Things She Needs. So, what's so different about this fashion accessory store at Ion Orchard? So could you tell us a bit more about the history of the little thing she needs? When I launched the brands in Singapore or back in Southeast Asia, everybody was wondering why the name is so long. Although it's long, but it's just a very simple philosophy that it's just the little things that she needs, that every little girl needs. Not even she wants, because she wants, you know I mean, you're expecting. But we need is, you know, it's a, it's a must. Yeah. It's a must have. School girls, our target markers, that they have so called limited pocket money. So we are trying to, you know, targeting that kind of category to them whereby they can afford a nice pair of shoes every month. Why do you choose your first flagship store to be at Ion Orchard, not at a place like Far East Plaza or like Plaza Singapore? It's a destination now. It's been a, a big talking topic in, in Indonesia because I was staying in Indonesia. So, you know, we decided, oh, we just have to be, if we want to be in Singapore, to be a flagship, I think we just have to be in Ion. So in Singapore, right, we're seeing a trend of like Asian stores opening. Yes. I've been dealing with brands for the past seven years. You know, all the brands in around the world has been looking at Singapore as a, as a flagship of Southeast Asia, as a hub. How do you describe Indonesian fashion? Like, is it very different from Singaporean fashion? Well, the first month when I started here was like, wow. It's really different. Singaporean girls are very casual. It's very hard and your guys walk a lot from you know one end to the other end. You you prefer something that is comfortable, you prefer something that is very durable, but not Indonesians, yeah. They go to the malls with heels, with the botang, with you know. So I would say Singaporean girls are more easy to adapt. Some of your products are a bit westernish, you know, like River Island, Topshop yeah. kind. So how do you guys differentiate yourself from that? I mean, first of all, when everybody looking at this concept, nobody knows it's, a, it's our own brands, it's a local brands, and you know what I mean? Everybody always have an international feel because the thing is, we get feedbacks from around the world. I think the most important thing is, we want to have that international feel, but affordable. Currently in the store, do you have any items that are influenced by Indonesian culture or anything? Basically, as I mentioned earlier, when we started the stores here, we adapt to Singapore. You know what I mean? So we have we have things that is we feel that is very typical Singaporean girls will carry. You know how Indonesian fashion, right? You or like just Indonesian culture, like you associate it with like batik stuff. Do you have anything that's like batik? We thought about having collaborations. Yeah. So, uh, um, you know, having a batik prints, flats, and this and that. Uh, uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a later project. When we started the stores here, we adapt to Singapore. We have things we feel that is very typical Singaporean girls will carry. Our next steps that we are looking here in Singapore will be collaborate with, a, with a bloggers, with a very famous bloggers, to come out a series of lines. How about like the designers? Do you source them from Indonesia or like everywhere? Um, the designers is the consumers. We don't really pay for designers, and yes, we do respect sometimes of their, you know, uh, uh, get some advice from what is the fashion trend. But basically, what I say will be the consumer. So we we respect and we we love feedback. My latest creation will be one jelly shoes. I think it's one of a girl in Indonesia. She's a consumer, and uh, she's also my uh, bloggers. Catch our next clip as we find out some of the little things they have in the store.